So I'm just going to run it. It's going to give me all the information, and I'll know how to improve my computer here. Whether it's the uh, GPU, which is the stock one, which I will eventually, hopefully, replace, because it's pretty bad right now. Uh, I wouldn't say it's pretty bad. It runs smooth, as you can see. The colors on these two monitors are popping, but that could just be the monitors. But uh, it's able to push all this real estate, and it's very, very smooth. I just popped up Safari and websites loaded like that and moved it off to the other screen and it was it was beautiful. But uh the graphics card is known to crap out of people, so I might have to replace that at some point so it doesn't just crap out of me when I'm in the middle of something. But uh alright, yeah, uh, it's taken me about a minute. It says about a minute right now is how long it's been going for. It's just finishing up the benchmark, a minute five seconds. This is going a lot faster. I had a minute and thirty on my other computer. So, we'll see how this works. Going pretty fast. There we are. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh. Wow. Really? I got the same benchmark score as my other one. Ooh, boy. What did I lose out on? Memory bandwidth. What did I lose out in there? Anyway, let me show you the score. It could be because I am 30 using a 64-bit operating system on a 64-bit CPU architecture. That's the problem. Right, there's my scores. I don't understand that, but whatever. The true test is how fast they can do Minecraft, really, because Minecraft is completely new generation. You have to. It's got a lickety split go with things, CPU intensive, so that's going to be the main test. So let me download that, get that set up, and I'll be back. Alright, here we are. I'm going to check out the Minecraft. So let's create a new world. Let's call it Benchmark World and put it into Creative. Uh, make sure everything's on. Yep, done. Create a new world. So here we go. Let's see how fast this takes. Of course, I'm going to see how fast it renders everything. should be super quick. Close on my uh, Mac Pro and my Fileless Workplace. It runs super fast. Oh, not too bad. Village right off the bat. Not village, bleh, village off the bat. It's rendering pretty quick. It's not lagging too bad. Don't hear any fan noise, so obviously I'm not taxing the system at all. Uh, let's see. It's pretty neat. It's rendering pretty good. No lag when rendering. Eventually, I have to get those speakers I have here. I have the um, old Apple iMac speakers. I was able to get one of those. All I have to do is get the adapter and I'll be set to go. Oops. Which hope there was nothing in there. Here's the real test TNT. This TNT in Minecraft always lags the game out. Now, if I can light this sucker off without any kind of lag, I got a pretty fast system. So go over here. Someplace far away in case I ever use this world for something. Don't know yet. <laughs> you never know. But I do have to transfer some of my files over from my old computer, so that's going to be a pain. Slowly like taking your time. It's really fast scrolling. Obviously you have a good system when it's really intense to scroll. So, let's try and slip around. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, I got this all. I got this all thing working out. Yeah, it's slowing things down. That's good. So here we go. Let's light off some of this TNT. This internal speaker is a little bit annoying because it's an internal speaker. Here we go. If this does not lag, I will be amazed. Nope. Amazing. If I did this on my computer, my other, my MacBook Pro, this thing would lag so bad.
now let's move on to the next one, which is open up every application at once. So start her up. See how long it takes. Huh? Let's get out of here. Not bad, not bad at all. It's running pretty smooth. Like this. It's taking a few seconds. I'm probably gonna pop a timer in there just to time it. It doesn't look too bad. Look at that, already in DVD. I love my Mac Pro. <laughs> oh, front rows of pain. But anyway, I think it's done. A few little guys asking for updates, close, mail, don't care about mail. I might set up mail, but here we are. Everything's running beautifully. Funica Pro X. It's $300, I don't think I'll be downloading that. <laughs> iMovie. But obviously, going through here, running everything I need to, no lag whatsoever, it's a beautiful thing. 